When it comes to Far Cry, one of the most rewarding ways to play has always been to stay as sneaky as possible, at least until all hell breaks loose. Thankfully, Far Cry 6 is no exception. But there are some stealth tactics, quite a few actually, that the game just doesn't tell you about. And that's where this video comes in. So, if you're looking for some hints that might keep you from blowing your cover, I hope you'll join me as I reveal 15 essential stealth tips for Far Cry 6. Before we begin, here's a fun fact. Of all my viewers, only around 4% are actually subscribed to my channel. That means the next time I post a video just like this, 96% of my viewers won't get notified. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to watch others just like it, consider subscribing. Or heck, even share it with a friend. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. Okay, like in past Far Cry games, you can chain two stealthy assassinations together, even without any special gear equipped. Problem is, there's no tutorial for how to do this, at least not that i found, and the button prompt that shows you how to do it is incredibly easy to miss. Basically, if you sneak up behind two enemies, do a normal machete takedown on the one closest to you. Then, if you're playing with a gamepad, use your left analog stick to face the second enemy, and when you see the prompt, press and hold the right trigger to kill the second enemy with a throwing knife. Now, if you equip a particular piece of gear called the Prisoner's Wrap, you can do a version of this that uses the enemy's pistol instead of a throwing knife. But if it's not suppressed, well, there goes your stealth, so I prefer the regular old chain assassination. Equipping the right gear is essential for stealth, but the single most helpful piece of gear I've found are the Dark Tech Boots. These let you move just as fast while crouched as you do while standing, which basically lets you catch up to patrolling enemies from behind without making a sound, and it means you won't have to stay out in the open for quite as long. If you haven't already found the Dark Tech Boots, you can purchase them from the Bandito's Barracks once you've upgraded it. Also worth noting here is that the entire Dark Tech line of gear, from the Dark Tech hoodie to the pants and so on, they're all pretty good for stealth. I also like the Trapper Cap, which increases the amount of time Danny can hold her breath while aiming the bow, and the Parkour Shorts, which give Danny a speed boost after she slides. If you didn't know, even if you're out in the open, sliding is a great way to evade an enemy's line of sight if they're about to detect you. I'm pretty sure all this gear that I've mentioned is purchasable at the Bandito's Barracks, at least after you upgrade it, but if not, a quick Google search should turn up their locations. Okay, so what about weapons? Well, to each their own, but here are the weapons I prefer for stealth. In the early game, the Yaren SR-A sniper rifle was, and actually still is, my favorite for long-distance kills. Granted, I did modify it with the American suppressor and the large sniper scope, which allows me to zoom in. And I did mention this in my previous video, but for anybody who didn't watch, I found this rifle in an FND cache at the first checkpoint that I cleared in the opening area of the game as part of the main story. Plus, I think you can buy it once you add the Gorilla Garrison to your Gorilla camp. Next, I almost always carry with me a silenced pistol. My preference is a suppressed M9 because it also has a mod for a sight. Next, as soon as I did build the Gorilla Garrison, I bought the Recurve Bow, which I've equipped with the Crosshair Sight. I also stumbled across a Compound Bow, which, again, you can purchase from the Gorilla Garrison once you upgrade it. I recommend Precision Arrows if you want to take out Armored Soldiers, or EMP Arrows, which I'll touch on later. As for resolver weapons, I found El Susuro to be pretty good for stealth. It's basically a silenced nail gun, but honestly, it didn't do a whole lot that my silenced pistol couldn't handle. I'll cover some other weapons later in this video, but these were more than enough early on for me to clear FND bases completely unnoticed. When it comes to Far Cry 6, don't sleep on EMPs. I'm particularly partial to EMP arrows, which let you disable alarms from a distance so enemies can't call for reinforcements. 
This is especially handy once you start encountering bulletproof alarms. Now, this is where I'm going to veer a little off topic as these upcoming tactics aren't entirely stealthy, but EMP arrows, or grenades if you prefer, can disable, albeit temporarily, vehicles, including tanks and helicopters. Now, if you've been spotted by a tank, they're pretty easy to evade, but whether you regain your stealth or not, blast them with an EMP, then approach the hatch. You'll be able to either commandeer the tank or pull the pin on the driver's grenade to blow the whole thing up. This is honestly one of the coolest tactics in the entire game. As for helicopters, these are tougher to lose once they've spotted you, but there were a number of times where I managed to get the drop on a helicopter, quite literally, by taking it down with an EMP before I was ever spotted. Now, doing this won't always cause the helicopter to explode. If it does, mission accomplished. But if not, know that enemy soldiers will take back to the sky once the EMP wears off. I guess what I'm saying is, hitting a chopper with an EMP isn't always the most practical tactic. While completely devoid of stealth, a rocket launcher or the heat-seeking missiles from your Exterminador Supremo backpack are better bets if all you want to do is create a fireball in the sky. That said, using an EMP arrow will give you a chance to remain completely undetected. And one final note on EMPs. If you have the Zucido or Zeusido resolver weapon, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it, it's specifically designed to fire a more powerful EMP blast. If you charge it up, it's just as effective as EMP arrows, but does way more damage, especially if you've added the proper mods. It can even vaporize soldiers with a direct hit, but be warned, ammo is very limited. This might sound basic, but I was surprised how often I would hide a body and think, nobody's gonna find this only for said body to get discovered in the middle of a stealth run of an occupied area. Particularly if I was taking out a checkpoint, I'd leave a body out of sight of other soldiers positioned at that checkpoint, but then that same body would get spotted by a soldier who was driving by in a truck. Yep, apparently soldiers can spot dead bodies from their vehicle. So if you are at a checkpoint, I recommend leaving bodies behind a building that obstructs the view of that body from the road. Another tip when it comes to hiding bodies is to find one spot where you can hide multiple bodies. That way you won't have a bunch of different locations spread across an area that are at risk of getting discovered by some stray soldier. If you're a fan of stealthing FND bases, also known as outposts in previous Far Cry games, You'll want to upgrade your guerrilla garrison, which I've already mentioned a couple of times, at your guerrilla camp. Once you do, you'll find a laptop marked by this icon somewhere on the outskirts of every FND base. Accessing this laptop will then automatically tag tripwires, turrets, cameras, alarms, and other security measures at that base without you having to scan them with your phone. Now, you will want to scan bases with your phone to tag enemies, preferably from some high up vantage point. But it's nice to know that, should you seek out these laptops, you won't miss any of the pesky security measures that can foil a perfect stealth run of any FND base. Some players may differ from me on this, but I haven't found any of Juan's Supremo backpacks to be all that useful for stealth. However, there is one Supremo that's not one of Juan's called the Triador that literally lets you see enemies through walls. To get this Supremo, you'll have to complete the Yaren story titled Triada Blessings, which will send you on a scavenger hunt that requires you to complete three different treasure hunts, one in each of the main areas of Yara. I was able to track this mission very early in the game, so I think it's revealed as part of the main quest, but correct me if I'm wrong there. Anyhow, once I did track the quest, the three treasure hunts were revealed on my map. Once I completed them and then finished the Yaren story, I got the Triador Supremo. But that's not all. The quest also rewards you with the La Varita Rifle. When you use this gun while the Triador Supremo is activated, you can literally shoot marked enemies through walls. Now, this sounds awesome, but in practice, I actually found that it pretty much broke the game. It just made Danny way too overpowered and it took the suspense and fun right out of the stealth, at least for me. That said, if you just want to clear an FND base as quickly as possible, 
this is definitely the way to go. One thing I don't like about Far Cry 6 is that Chorizo, cute as he is, didn't really serve my style of stealth. Whenever I sent Chorizo to distract some enemies, they rarely ended up facing the direction I needed in order to sneak up on them from behind. On the other hand, tossing a baseball allowed me to force enemies to face any direction I wanted. Or if I tossed the baseball further away, this would cause an enemy to investigate a particular area of my choosing. Again, Chorizo is cute as hell, but the simplicity of a baseball, at least for me, gave me way more control. Another note here, if you find two or more enemies facing each other because they're having, say, a conversation, this will make it impossible to sneak up on them without them seeing you. To remedy this, toss a baseball behind one of them and they should all turn to face the noise, allowing you to sneak up from behind and perform a chain assassination. Letting captive animals loose on enemies is a long-running staple in Far Cry games, but I find this only worth doing if there are enemies pretty darn close to the animal I'm about to free. What I'll do in Far Cry 6 is lure an enemy close to an animal's cage by throwing a baseball. Then I'll use a silenced weapon to break the cage open while I keep my distance. This isn't necessary, the animal can still sneak up on and do some damage to far-off enemies but you will risk said enemies killing the animal before it even reaches striking distance. If you've been attempting stealth in Far Cry 6 and you still feel like you need a little help, there are recipes that you can access after adding La Cantina to your guerrilla camp. Two of these will provide a temporary stealth buff for Danny to enjoy. There are the Ninja Nachos, which improve the damage you deal from stealth and from silenced weapons. And then there's the Sneaky Snitchel, which reduces your movement noise and slows down enemy security camera and auto turret detection speeds. Now, you do have to upgrade La Cantina once before you can access these particular recipes. And I have to be honest, I haven't used them much. Not because I'm great at stealth, but because they require you to have the proper ingredients cougar meat for the ninja nachos, and jaguar meat for the sneaky snitchel. And unless you've revealed the corresponding hunting grounds on your map, these can be somewhat hard to come by. This is the final tip that I'll cover that I also mentioned in my previous video, but I'd be remiss not to mention aerial assassinations, especially because there's no in-game tutorial that tells you how to do them. At least not that I've found. It's actually ridiculously simple. Just jump down from above, directly on top of any enemy, and you'll automatically perform a machete assassination. No button input required. Just make sure you are right on top of your foe, and boom, instant stealth kill. You can even drop down onto enemies from a zip line to perform the same maneuver. One thing I didn't notice until I had spent a good amount of time in Far Cry 6 is that the minimap can help locate enemies you haven't yet tagged with your cell phone. As for enemies you have tagged, they'll show up as a bright red dot. But if you approach an enemy you haven't tagged, they'll still appear on your minimap, but as a more vague red fog. This can be super useful if you're clearing out an FND base and you need to find that last one or two surviving soldiers. This is a simple one, but if you see an enemy soldier standing right in front of a waist-high wall or barricade, you likely won't find any better opportunity for a stealth kill. That's because Danny will pull her victim behind the wall completely out of the line of sight of any other nearby enemies. In other words, even if enemies might be facing your general direction, so long as they're more than a few feet away, they likely won't notice you as you take out their comrade. Unfortunately, Far Cry 6 doesn't let you save your game, but it does autosave right before you enter an occupied location, most notably FND bases. 
So, if you happen to mess up a stealth run of an FND base, or even a main story mission, and you're at a point early on such that you're willing to start over, you can reload your most recent autosave from the game's pause menu. To be clear, this will always, at least as far as I can tell, drop you off at the very beginning of that stealth run. So doing this will cause you to lose whatever progress you've made as far as targeting and killing enemies. But if you're a perfectionist like me, this will give you multiple opportunities to achieve that perfect stealth run. Can a shotgun be stealthy? Apparently, yes. In fact, thanks to the suppressor mods, most guns in Far Cry 6 can be pretty quiet. But this shotgun in particular became one of my favorite weapons in the entire game. It's called the Supercharger, and bear in mind that it is a unique weapon, so it can't be modded. But it comes with a suppressor and all the mods you'll need for a decently quiet and incredibly powerful close-ranged weapon. Now, if you're clearing an FND base and you don't want to risk that perfect stealth run, I'd still recommend a silenced pistol, a sniper rifle, and a bow and arrow. But if you're just clearing a checkpoint or you just don't want to alarm any soldiers that are more than a stone's throw away, then this gun is perfect and powerful. Even special forces don't stand a chance. I found this shotgun at the FND base in the northwest corner of the map that you'll find on the oil rig. I think it was on the west side of the oil rig where I found a room with a red button. I pressed the button and that activated a crane that lifted a container that then gave me access to another container and it was there that I found the shotgun. And there you have it. I hope these tips help you stay sneaky in Far Cry 6. I plan on shifting my channel to include a lot more tips and strategy guides just like this one, so if you like this video, consider dropping a like and maybe subscribing if you want more. As always, I want to thank my boss mode patrons, Brock and Bare Knuckle Bob. If you'd like to support my channel on Patreon, you'll literally be helping as I make future content just like this. You'll find the link in the description. Lastly, you can follow me on Twitter at Quest Mode Games, and with that, I want to remind everyone to never Stop questing.